This is a typical little bush church. You'd probably only get about 25, 30 people in here, but back in the old days, weddings were only little affairs. And they were steeped in lots and lots of love, warmth, and commitment for eternity. Take a look at this beautiful love story. We used, to, we used to talk over the school fence, oh, yeah, much to the headmaster's disgust, but we used to go to the pitcher Saturday night. I'd meet Dross there, he'd, I'd come in town with my family and he lived on the other side of town and he'd come with his brothers and sisters. Square dancing was a big thing in those early days. Ross was my Deb's partner just after I left school. All the dancers, we played tennis with the Bland Tennis Club. Yeah, yeah I don't know, things uh, just progressed along I suppose. <laughs> had to wait till I grew up. <laughs> Dad actually brought us out on the old Twin City tractor out onto the main road through the flood water and Ross picked us up at the main road, went into town, we went to one of the local's houses near the uh, CWA rooms where the kitchen tour was being held and we changed into our good clothes. I came into town the day before, there was things to be done at the church in the town hall, the young Quanilla Hall, which was almost new at that stage. We had flowers to do and tables to arrange and I didn't actually go home to my home that night. I went up to Ross's sisters at Bimby and stayed there the night. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of people had to, had to come through creeks and that to, uh, to get at the main road and they, mostly they drive the tractors. Um, some of the uh, visitors' relations from away were staying down at Mum and Dad's place the night. Uh, they were in and out on the tractor too. Yes, it was a wet old day and that's how we come to have wet bags on the footpath yeah. in front of the church. The mud would be over the top of your boots. And Third, Third Street and Quandiella had no, cement, no tar or uh, curve and guttering in those days. There was people down there that bought a new car on, on Penfolds Lane and they never got the car into their homestead for nine months. The road into their home had wheel tracks about two foot deep. Couldn't drive a car in there. But we didn't get very, very far that year, so Mum and I caught the train, went to Sydney and did quite a bit of the bridal shopping and extras and things that we needed. For the, yeah, for the wedding. The photographer came from, I think it was from West Wallen actually. It had to be upstairs in the supper room. You weren't allowed, went down, they have them in the, down in the hall these days, but the floor was all newly polished for a dance floor. It's yes. 11, 11 o'clock wedding, I think it was. What would be in CWA's ladies probably catered for it. An old school friend made, uh, iced our wedding cake. The main fun <laughs> started after the wedding, when we were trying to leave, you know, the tricks they used to get up to. Potatoes up the exhaust pipe of your car, spark plug wires crossed, um, bike tube on the exhaust pipe, marbles in the wheel caps, anything they could think of, you know. <laughs> Just uh, old boots and tin cans and things dragging behind. Well, we had this old Morris truck with a canopy on it. We went up through Queensland, we camped along the road, off the road, or along the beaches, or rivers, or whatever. and. Uh, and had you a could, pretty good time. Well, if you didn't have enough money, that's not all you could do. We're the same as everyone else. We have a few arguments. <laughs> I mostly win. <laughs> Should I take that back? <laughs> if you have an argument, get over it. <laughs> no alcohol. That's a good plus. I suppose it does all come back to commitment, doesn't it? 